Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Kat Woods. I'm going to share with you today how to do the chain system in your Thompson Chain Reference Bible. If you're thinking about getting one of these and you're just not for sure if you can handle or even understand what's going on on these crazy looking pages, you guys, if I can do it, anyone can do it. And it's easy to pick up. I do recommend always when purchasing any Bible, read the beginning intro of each Bible. It tells you and breaks down the steps in your Bible better than anyone else can. All right, so do make sure to do that. Now, I didn't want to share before I even open up my, my, my Bible, what pins I use in my Bible. The Pilot G Text, highly recommend them. They work in any Bible because the Bible pages are super, super small. These little nibs, are amazing for that so the smaller the nib the lesser the ink that comes out that's what you want okay and the micron 005 too are is another an amazing one okay so we're gonna hop on in I will go ahead and leave um, the review for this Bible I do have like a pin tester page if you want to look at a couple of videos I'll make sure to leave them in the description box below so make sure you go over and check that out help support my channel by sharing my videos letting people know to come over and check out my channel I would greatly appreciate it all right so the chain system looks a little bit overwhelming but it's super easy I picked it up within five minutes literally five minutes of flipping back and forth I was like oh yeah this is nothing different than a reference Bible you guys it the only difference is the references are not in the center they're outside of it and if you look right here the reference will be right directly across from the scripture all right it's that that's it that's all that's all it is right next to the scripture there's nothing else that you have to do now when it comes to the chain system the chain system is linked up from these outer numbers okay and if you're over here on the right hand column you get the right hand scriptures and sometimes you'll even get the scriptures next to it to where you don't even have to go to the back of the Bible now the back of the Bible will have additional scriptures to look up so I you do I do recommend it because sometimes it will take you through a whole little journey which we're about to take right now okay so I went ahead and um, highlighted <laughs> I don't want you having to sit there and watch me mess through the little pages so we're going to go over blessings. The chain system we're going to follow is going to be 483. I highlighted it here. Just It's already been highlighted, but we're going to pretend it's special for you. All right. <laughs> so I highlighted blessings and that's what we're going to look up. All right. So we're going to go back here through the chain system. We went through and looked over and now we have finally found 483 okay I'm going to take you off of the tripod here and put you on this one so I can keep you still <laughs> I'm not shaking you around all right so the 483 this right here will be our chain system okay so all these scriptures this is all in Genesis they're not going to continue on the abbreviation for Genesis all these scriptures will have be connected to the chain system this is one right here that we have in the New Testament and then if you see right here it tells us also to see the divine favor and we're going to check out 1250 which we're not really going to do it but I'm just saying it will continue to go on and on and on but do you see how many blessings different chains that it's going to go over so anyone that is going to do like a Bible study um, like any a, a cert like want to put together a sermon look at all of this and it's just over blessings different chains coming over here and what I like about this there is no man-made theological notes um, you know trying to, to direct you you guys this is only scriptures back here that's what's so amazing about this now when you see all of this and you come back here to look for your chain 
You don't have to get overwhelmed by all, all of this. No, that's not, not what I'm saying. I'm not saying come back here, go through here, then look over here. No, you stay focused until you get a better understanding about your chain system. Stay focused only on your, you know, on your chain. So you can go through, look, this is the scripture that we're on right now. So you can go through 9-1 and find out which scripture better relates to or just get a whole better understanding that's really what the chain system is all about it's getting a better understanding as you would do with like if you're referencing something all right so I went and I wrote down verse 9 yeah no chapter 9 verse 1 that's the um, scripture I wrote down here now when it comes to, like I said, these are Pilot GTEC pins. When it comes to up here, there are two scriptures. So I went back and I looked up which two that I thought fit the scripture better. I liked Hebrews. So I went ahead and highlighted it. Again, just this is just how I do it. You don't have to do it. The chain system number is all right here. And each one, you just go on the back and you look up the number. The only thing that you have to know is this chain number and then go back and follow it. That's it. But a lot of the times, if you see, they have the scriptures right here. You don't even have to go back and look through it. All right. Now, I did want to share um, a little bit for my brother in Christ here, Bert from Burton Bibles here on YouTube. He has been having... A lot of problems with his Thompson chain reference Bibles so we have been talking him into getting church Bible publishers he's in the UK so it's a little bit hard for him to do it he reached out and he has got some but they're not in the large print this right here is in the large print and I only know the large print and I don't have any problems with the consistency of these Bibles so if I am also on a phone and um, so I don't like the ghosting that you see, it's not even there, you guys. It, it really, now let me share, let me share this real quick. Let me stay focused. I will stay focused. I'm going to keep it right here because it's steady. You can see both pages. There is like some shadowing because like I, it's, you know, it's thin paper. But you see how you can see the chains on the next side. But it's, when you're reading it, you guys, it's not even distracting. You don't even see the next page. Like truly, you don't even see it. Here's the red letter. And the red letter will stay very consistent. It's not, this is red with black behind it. You can't even see it. The phone will always emphasize it much, much, much more. Again, with black behind it. So there's red with black behind it. So let me show you real quick why I have that right there. A Bible that does have ghosting and really, really bad ghosting. What it looks like on my phone. So we can, you know, compare it. Oops, sorry. I thought this little tripod would be better. So this one is extremely hard to read because you just get so distracted by it. Let's go back in the red. It's like it's nearly impossible. You see how bad this is? Yeah, that's that's bad. thought this little I really apologize about the shaking I thought this would be a little better idea this is the crease from the book marker you will get that in Bibles of course
but you can it you can read it you can read the next page so so beautifully there's nothing The red is a beautiful red. Now, it's not like a dark red. I won't say, yes, it's a dark red. No, it's, it's, a, it's a light red, but it's not so light that you can't read it. I thought maybe this might be two different colors, but it's not. I'm telling you, brother, I have went through and really, because I was, I've been concerned. You haven't had any luck with this, so I haven't found any consistency with the red. The red is just really straight all the way through. The same with the black. If anything, I think you'll get more troubles with the black here and there. Okay, now I do hope this video was helpful. I do apologize for um, my shaking around and moving. That's why I like tripods and for the most part, <laughs> I try to keep you on the tripods. You don't have to go through all that dizziness. So I do, do apologize. Um, if this video was not helpful, let, let me know. I'll go ahead and keep you on the tripod next time. Just zoom you in and out. See if, if that works better. But um, I, I'm always here to help to try to answer any questions. This chain system, super easy, you guys. I promise you, super easy. Um, okay, so I'm going to cut it off here. As always, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box. Please make sure to hit the like button, share, and subscribe if you're not already. I do have more upcoming videos, exciting upcoming videos. So I can't wait to get them out for you. Um, all right. I will talk to you all later. Bye.